Let's dive into the Pro Angler Series, our flagship top of the line fishing models from Hobie. We make it in a 12 foot or a 14 foot model and it also comes with two different options of Mirage Drive. Mirage Drive 180 with turbo kick up fins or the Mirage Drive 360. Let's take a closer look and talk about some of the differences between the two length models and the drive systems. The Pro Angler 14 is two feet longer and two inches wider than the 12. This means that you have a little bit more room in the cockpit area, you have more storage space, and you're gonna get 100 pounds of extra weight capacity. So if you take a lot of gear, you're a larger person, or you like to primarily stand up and fish for your day on the water, the 14 might make more sense. It's also gonna track a little bit better and straighter in open water when you're at the mercy of wind and currents and stuff like that. The 12, on the other hand, is very maneuverable and nimble, a little bit more maneuverable and nimble than the 14. It's uh, not quite as stable, but it's still extremely stable, very easy to stand up on. I think the main reason that a lot of people go with the 12 is because it weighs about 20 pounds less, it's easy to transport, it fits a little bit better into the bed of a truck. That's, to me, the, the main difference is there are some other features for example, the Pro Angler 14 has six horizontal rod holders, the 12 has four. But aside from that, the main features on these two boats are exactly the same. Now for the Mirage Drives. The Mirage Drive 180 Turbo with kick-up fins is a tried and proven drive. You get forward and reverse, and then with the kick-up fins, you don't have to worry about contacting underwater obstacles like tree stumps, rocks, or even landing your kayak on the shoreline. It makes sense for a lot of people. They don't necessarily need much more than that because in combination with your rudder, you're still going to be able to maneuver your kayak extremely well. I like the Mirage Drive 180 for fishing open water or general shorelines, trolling, that kind of stuff. It's also a little bit more affordable, so that leaves you with a little bit of extra cash to spend on accessorizing your kayak. The Mirage Drive 360 has completely revolutionized pedal drive systems. And what I mean by that is the fact that you can pedal in any direction. I look at the Mirage Drive 360 kind of like a human powered trolling motor. You can really pivot your boat in any direction and go sideways, backwards, forwards. So the big advantage in my eyes with the 360 is if you are a structure angler or you're fishing a lot of docks, that kind of things, you're really going to be able to pinpoint and maneuver your boat in wind and current to make those perfect casts and you're going to be able to get out of those areas to move on to the next area faster. So it buys you more fishing time and it's going to allow you to perfectly pinpoint those casts or get on top of that structure and drop a lure directly on top of those fish's heads. The 360 drive also comes with turbo kick-up fins so you're going to have that speed and power and also that peace of mind when you're fishing in dirty water where there's underwater obstacles, you're not gonna have to worry about it. So both of these drives are a great option and hopefully that explanation gives you a little bit of a better understanding of why you might pick the 180 or the 360 drive for your Pro Angler. I've spent multiple 10 plus hour full days in both the 12 and the 14 and the feel of the Pro Angler series is just something very unique. I feel very confident and comfortable when I'm in either of these platforms. The stability is unmatched. There's plenty of space to take a lot of gear. It's not like you're having to pick a few lures to take like you might have to on a more traditional kayak. You can take the whole kitchen sink on, on these kayaks. I never hesitate to stand up, even in pretty rough conditions in the ocean. I've caught some really big fish standing up from these boats. And then the storage space, if I wanna keep fish, I can keep multiple fish and on a fish bag and I can really stay out there for a long time. I can pack a cooler, a live well, a crate and take everything that I need to spend the entire day on the water. So that to me is what makes the Pro Angler series different and, and kind of puts it apart from any other kayak on the market. And there's also a lot of features that are built into these boats and we can dive into them right here in a little bit. But one that stands out to me is the horizontal rod storage. When I'm launching through the surf, I can store my rods in there. I don't have to worry about capsizing, breaking rods, or if I'm fishing shorelines where there's overhanging trees or docks and obstacles, 
my rods are safely put away. We all know how much that kind of stuff costs and just having that ability to protect it is an amazing feature of the Pro Angler. Okay, let's jump in to the features of this kayak, starting with this extremely comfortable, huge Vantage chair. What I love about this chair is you can sit in it all day long on the water. It's got this comfortable, breathable 3D mesh with padding in it. It gives you a nice orientation for your pedal stroke. It's a very nice ergonomic pedal stroke that you can do all day long. You have these barrel adjusters on the left and right hand side. The left one operates my seat back so I can adjust the angle of my seat back very easily. And same thing with my seat bottom, just by twisting these barrel adjusters. There's even a BOA system on the backrest to adjust my lumbar support. I can do less lumbar support or I can dial it in to where I'm getting more lumbar support. So right now I'm up in the high position. We call this the vantage position because you can see very well. You can stand up very easily from this tall position. But if you want to get very, very stable on this kayak, say the weather kicks up, and you want to just get as stable as possible, it's very easy. You push your weight forward a little bit, lift the back of the seat up, and pull on this kickstand tab, and it'll take you into a lower position. You use your barrel adjusters to adjust yourself into that comfortable position again. And the nice thing about the location of the seat is that I can easily reach my dual steering. So I can steer with my right hand or my left hand and that controls my rudder as I'm pedaling along to go left or right. Of course, you also have your 360 steering right here on the left side if you choose the 360 drive. Also, all of the tethers and operations in my cockpit are easily accessible from this seat. I have my A-trails right here for mounting accessories, but my rudder up down, my transducer pulley for the Guardian system, my skeg, and my kickstand for the chair are all very, very easily accessible. Let's talk fish finders. If you're looking to install one on your Pro Angler, we have you covered with the Guardian Transducer Shield. It's a retractable transducer cavity that allows you to install pretty much any kind of transducer to it, and it has a retractor feature. So from inside of the cockpit of the kayak, you can manually pull or drop down your transducer. And what that means is, when it comes time to transporting your kayak, you pull a tab, your transducer gets sucked up into the center of the kayak where it's protected. And same thing when you're on the water, if you're pedaling along and you come across a shallow tree stump or a rock and you hit your transducer, it's automatically gonna retract up into that cavity which protects your transducer. Why did we do the Guardian? Well, transducers are large, there's side scanning transducers that need to be completely exposed underneath the hull of the kayak to read sideways. That's why we did it. It's the most advanced fish finder transducer system on the market. Running down both sides of the Pro Angler is the Hobie H-Rail. It's a patented 12-sided metal railing that accepts all different kinds of accessories. And what that allows you to do is adjust your accessories by 30 degrees each way. So this is how your accessories attach to them. There's a shape that matches the, the, the rail. You lock that little pin in, you can adjust it as needed. This allows you to slide your accessories up and down the rail or you can rotate them in 30 degree increments. Once you lock them in place with this oversized lever, they are not going anywhere. So this is an example, this cup holder, of something that would attach to those H-rails. But my favorite part about it is you don't have to drill any holes in your kayak. It's a mounting platform that allows you to mount all kinds of H-rail accessories. So if I'm going bass fishing tomorrow, I may add an H-rail mini bin for holding my soft plastics. And the next day, if I'm going offshore fishing in the ocean, I might add an H-rail rod holder to hold my heavy duty conventional setups. The beauty of the H-Rail system is that you don't have to commit to placing a certain accessory in one place. You can add or attach as needed and move them around. They're super sturdy, super strong, and the H-Rail system just makes it really easy to completely accessorize your Pro Angler just how you want to. Let's jump into my favorite part of the video, the bow to stern walkthrough of every single feature of the Pro Angler series. Starting off, we have a really nice ergonomic hard carry handle. 
It's nice because you're not going to catch your fishing line on it. it. has a nice grip on it for grabbing with your hand when you're carting your kayak around. You have a big oversized front hatch lid right here. This one's the 14. The 12 hatch lid's a little bit smaller, but both of them are held in place with these bungees. And when you open them up, they have a nice, generous, big bin right here that you can throw all kinds of gear inside of. There's a gasket on top of the hatch lid. It closes in place like that. And as you move backwards on the boat, you get to your accessory mount right here. This is here to mount different accessories to, like the bimini or the sail kit or camera mounts. Next are your horizontal rod holders, three on either side. So you can take a minimum of six rods horizontally and out of the way on your pro angler. If you use a rod cover on, on a smaller size rod, you can actually fit two rods in each of those. So for, you have a total of 12 rods. Next is your mounting plate right here. You have a built-in track system on the outside for adding accessories, a bunch of holes for for tethering to and a knife slot, as well as dimples that allow you to mount different bases from accessory manufacturers very easily. Then we go to our Mirage Drive. So whether you have the 360 or the 180, both of them are gonna be held in place with a click and go system. So your drive pops in and out of the well very easily. They're also both adjustable with the cranks. So depending on how tall you are, you can move your cranks back or forth depending on your leg length. Then we have EVA standing pads. These are going to add grip, they're going to dampen sound and just make standing on this kayak very, very comfortable. Don't let me forget the through hull wire plugs that come pre-installed on your Pro Angler so it makes running transducer and power cables to a fish finder very easy. You don't have to drill any holes or use any glue. Next is your large rectangular hatch in the center of the kayak. When you open it up, your pivoting tackle management system puts your tackle boxes right at hand's reach. There's also a map pocket in here. And a lot of people actually like to put a bin inside of here instead of the pivoting tackle management system, depending on your needs. The nice thing about this hatch is it completely seals, is 100% waterproof and sheds water as it opens up. As we lift up the bottom of the Vantage chair, you'll notice there are two scuppers right here. They'll receive a Hobie kayak cart, and I like it because it's perfectly balanced when portaging your Pro Angler around. They also help to drain any water should it enter the cockpit. Underneath the seat right here, there's two more pieces of EVA. These will hold two 3,700 size tackle boxes. There's a strap for holding them in place. The strap is also for holding your seat in place when you're transporting your kayak. At the back, we have the Guardian Tombstone. That's where your transducer wire will exit the Guardian cavity and enter the hull through this through hull wire plug, making fish finder installation extremely easy. There's also two map pockets, one on either side of the gunnels. These are great for stashing away things like sunscreen or pliers. There's more space right here for tackle boxes. Included with the Pro Angler are two of these H-Rail rod racks that support the butts of your rods when you're utilizing the horizontal rod holders, as well as a cup holder. In the cargo area, as we move further back, you'll notice you have two paddle holders. These each hold one piece each of your two-piece fiberglass paddle. There's a T-handle for one side for that canoe style paddling, or you can attach the paddle together and use it like a regular kayak paddle. Two built-in vertical rod holders in the stern with attachment points for rod leashes. Your scupper holes in the cargo area for utilizing a Hobie live well. They also drain the entire cargo area and they can also take a kayak cart. This is a very spacious area, so you can add H-crates, live wells, coolers, and you can hold them in place with these integrated bungees. There's an access hatch here for getting inside the hull, an eight inch round. And then as we move towards the back of the kayak, this right here is your cover plate for your rudder housing. There's inserts in here as well. 
that allow you to attach a power pole plate that allows you to mount a power pole micro or install an electric motor. And then on the stern of the kayak, this big ergonomic carry handle, as well as two replaceable skid plates and your drain holes for draining any excess water out of the kayak. And then lastly, you have two molded in inserts right here on the, on the stern of the kayak and the bow on both sides that allow you to easily install an anchor trolley kit. As you can see, the Pro Angler series comes packed full of awesome features and these kayaks are ready to put on the water and go fishing. But if you want to add more accessories to your Pro Angler, visit our Hobie YouTube channel. My coworker Howie has a video right there where he installs all different kinds of accessories like a Lowrance fish finder, a power pole micro. We've been making the Pro Angler series for a long time and we're always innovating and making changes and adding features to our kayak. So make sure you check out the latest version of the Pro Anglers. Some examples of that are the Vantage seat, the different options and drives, but one that often goes overlooked is our Skeg. And we added that in to aid with tracking, especially over long voyages from A to B. And where you can really notice the difference is in the Pro Angler 12, that skeg is gonna help prevent that kayak from getting pushed around, especially when the conditions uh, get more rough out there. With so many years of bringing innovation and craftsmanship to water sports products, you can count on Hobie's quality and design so that you can concentrate on the most important thing, and that's having fun on the water. The Pro Anglers are the ultimate human-powered fishing boat. The only difference is you don't have to fill them with gas every time you wanna go fishing. They're also very minimal maintenance. So when you get back from a day of fishing, all you have to do is rinse them off with fresh water. They store away more easily than a big boat would. They transport more easily. You can put them in the bed of a truck, on a trailer, or up on your roof racks. The accessibility opens up a whole new world of fishing. You don't have to launch at a boat ramp. You can take them anywhere. Anywhere you can get your kayak down to the water where there's a public launch, you can go and fish that area. And lastly, for me, the stealth, sneaking up on fish. There's certain ways that I fish on these pro anglers that I can't fish with a, a motor or the vibration of a propeller and I catch more fish because of that. So consider all that stuff when you're looking at a pro angler and we'll see you next time on the water.